I think my most memorable moment um, with the tree is every year we have a special tradition where my daughters and I put the tree up um, and then we surprise my husband when it's all put together. And we sort of had this deal where he, he does the, the outside lights and then we take care of the inside decorations. And so my three daughters and I um, have been putting this tree together by ourselves for the last 10 years. And we've kind of have a lot of little traditions associated with putting together the tree. And, um, and then the, and each of my daughters actually then have put up little trees in their room. Um, and everybody has their own ornaments that they like to put up or are their favorites. And... Um, my first tree was a noble fir. It's a family tradition in our house that we have always gotten noble furs, and it's one of those things that I am continuing on to this day. I still have noble furs in my house. My mom continues to also get a noble fur, uh, basically because of our father loving the tree. My, unfortunately, my father's no longer with us, but it is a tradition that we continue on to this day. Now, now your your sisters are involved more with the tree setup, yeah. and so you each sort of have you sort of have your favorite ornaments that you each want to put on yeah. the tree, and you sort of jockey for who, who's going to do each ornament. Yeah, it's it's always a competition to see who gets to do which ornament for the tree. <laughs> Well, I think the best compliments that I get is the fact that people will go and purchase it. And the fact that my kids, I've continued on with them. In fact, I probably plan on buying another one. My daughter now is living with her boyfriend. They have last year gotten a, a real tree, but I think this year we'll transition to a balsam hill. Uh, my mom likes them, my sister likes them, so it's just a matter of it's in the family. We have all have been purchasing Balsam Hills because of me starting that tradition. 